Hey, this is Austin again with another video. In this video, I want to demonstrate the difference between the cast compressor wheel and the billet compressor wheel. Now, there was some false information that was online that I want to discuss. The, the false information was that the billet wheel is heavier than the cast wheel. Now, what I want, want to explain is that the statement that the billet wheel is heavier than the cast wheel and the statement that the cast wheel is heavier than the billet wheel is false. In this video, in this video I'm going to demonstrate why neither of those statements are true. Here's a HX4060 by 86 millimeter compressor wheel. We're getting 147.2 grams. This is an HX4060 by 86 billet wheel. It's a direct drop-in. We're getting 125.6 grams. About a 22 gram difference. Now the reason why these two, there's a bit difference between these two is because the thicker hub. Because this one's shaved down and because the blades are much thinner than the factory one, it's lighter weight. Now Tim's Turbos made a video on this, but they were probably comparing two different wheels. But the idea was that the cast wheel is lighter because it has air pockets in the casting. But in this video, just like I showed you, the statement for that is not true for these two wheels. Here's a genuine Evo 316G compressor wheel. We're getting 54.4 grams. This is an aftermarket Evo 316G compressor wheel. We're getting 62.1 grams. This wheel measures 48.3 by 68 millimeter. The reason why this one's heavier is because it does have thicker blades. The nub and the hub is thinner, like over the big 16G, it's thinner. And you'll notice that this one does have the thinner blades, this one doesn't. These blades are stronger because they're thicker, but the wheel weighs more. Next, a Billet 20G compressor wheel. This wheel measures 52.6 millimeter by 68 millimeter. We're getting 73.1 grams. Here's a Cast 20G compressor wheel. We're getting 62 grams. So in this case, you can tell that there's a 11 gram difference. The billet wheel is 11 grams heavier than the cast wheel. But the reason why in this case is because these blades are much taller. It's an extended tip design. It also has the blades curved on the back side or extended on the back side for more airflow. Here's a side by side comparison. You can see how much taller the tip of the blades extends. Here's another cast 20G compressor wheel. We're getting 61.3 grams. One thing that I want to keep in mind or just show you that I thought was interesting is this is a 20G wheel. 61.2 grams. 16G compressor wheel. 62.2 grams. Even though this wheel is smaller it actually weighs more than the 20G compressor wheel just because the design of the blades is thicker. Here's another, t another 20G compressor wheel. So this one is just a little bit lighter than the 16G compressor wheel. Even though this one's smaller, the bigger one is lighter in this case. This is a factory 60 by 86 compressor wheel for HX40. 147.1 grams. 67 by 89 by 95 billet compressor wheel upgrade for the HX40. 143.3 grams. So even though this compressor wheel is larger, it weighs 3.8 grams less than the stock compressor wheel. I have people that ask me if the billet wheel is worth it or if they should just go with the cast wheel. So my response usually is, well, I don't have dyno proof that says that the billet wheel is better than the cast wheel, but it does make sense that the billet wheel is better than the cast wheel because 
it is lighter weight for one but the other thing that you have to keep in mind is since you have more area for the blades to grab the airflow like in this case if you went with the cast version of this then you have a 20 millimeter hub that's blocking a lot of airflow but in this case this hub is only 15 millimeters so you have an additional area of five millimeters of airflow to go to the compressor blade so that it can compress it into the engine. So with that said, I would say yes, it is worth it in most cases, but I'm going to show you a case where I don't think it's worth it. Here's a case where I don't think that it's worth it to have this billet wheel. The reason why is because there's really nothing special about this. It's the same mimic or copy of the cast compressor wheel but it's just a billet version unless you were just looking for durability that would make sense because the billet wheels are designed to be more durable because they're machined from a solid piece of aluminum in the case of a cast wheel it's actually a poured casting so they can have a failure but it is kind of rare I'll show you an example of one that I had that failed so in this case, I had one wheel before that was just a cast wheel. It was an 18G where you could see a hairline crack that came across the whole fin and to the center of it. In that case, it would have made sense to have a billet wheel there because the cast one failed. But that is kind of rare though. It's helpful. You could always uh, tell me your thoughts on that. And also leave a comment to say whether you think the cast compressor wheels are better or the billet compressor wheels are better because Tim Turbos thinks that the cast compressor wheels are better.